Let's solve our first example. Find a real root of the equation x sin x plus cos x is equal to 0 near x equal to pi correct to 4 decimal places using newton raphson method. We have f of x is equal to x sin x plus cos x. As given in the question, let's take first guess x0 as pi. We have to find the root value correct to 4 decimal places using newton raphson formula. Newton Raphson formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn. That is, next value of x is equal to current value of x minus the ratio of function value to its derivative value. To use derivative value, we need the derivative of f of x. So, in step 2, we will find f dash of x. So, let's differentiate the function f dash of x is equal to differentiation of first term that is x sin x. We need to use product rule. So x sin x differentiation is x into sin x differentiation is cos x plus sin x into x differentiation is 1 plus the second term is cos x cos x differentiation is minus sin x. We can cancel sin x and sin x. So we are left with x into cos x. Step 3. Let's find the value of x1 by substituting n as 0 in newton raphson formula. So the formula changes to x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. Now we need the value of f of x0 and f dash of x0. So in the step 4, let's calculate them f of x0 is equal to f of pi because x0 is pi. Let's replace x with pi. So we get sin pi is 0 and cos pi is negative 1. So f of x0 value is minus 1. Next, f dash of x0 value. f dash of x0 is f dash of pi which is pi cos pi and we know that cos pi value is negative 1 and we know pi is approximately equal to 3.1416 so f dash of x0 is minus 3.1416 finally in step 5 let's find the value of x1 by substituting x0 f of x0 and f dash of x0 values in the formula we get x1 as 2.8233 since x0 is pi and x1 is 2.8233, they are not at all same. So let's continue with our iteration. Next we need to find x2. So let's substitute n as 1 in the newton raphson formula. So we get x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 over f dash of x1. We need to calculate f of x1 and f dash of x1. So f of x1 is f of 2.8233 which is equal to minus 0.0662 and f dash of x1 is f dash of 2.8233 which is equal to 2.6815. Again in step 5 let's find the value of x2 by substituting x1, f of x1 and f dash of x1 values in the formula. We get x2 as 2.7986. This is not same as x1. So let's continue with our iteration. We need to find x3 now. By substituting n as 2 in the newton raphson formula, we get x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 over f dash of x2. We need the value of f of x2 and f dash of x2 f of x2 is f of 2.7986 which is equal to minus 0.0006 and f dash of x2 is f dash of 2.7986 which is 2.6356 in step 5 we find the value of x3 by substituting x2 f of x2 and f dash of x2 values in the formula we get x3 as 2.7984 now we are getting close to the answer because x2 and x3 are the same till the third decimal that is 2.798 but we need 4 decimal place accuracy. So let's iterate once again. Putting n as 3 in Newton Raphson formula we get x4 is equal to x3 minus f of x3 over f dash of x3. 
let's find f of x3 and f dash of x3 values f of x3 is f of 2.7984 which is 0 and f dash of x3 is f dash of 2.7984 which is minus 2.6358 by substituting x3, f of x3 and f dash of x3 values in the formula, we get x4 as 2.7984. The ratio of f of x3 to f dash of x3 becomes 0 as f of x3 is 0. So x4 is same as x3. We can also see that the function value for this value of x is 0 which means this value of x is the root of the function x sin x plus cos x. Let's solve our next example. Find the real root of the equation x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0 near x equal to minus 1 correct to 4 decimal places using newton raphson method. We have f of x is equal to x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 4. Step 1. As given in the question, let's take our first guess x0 as minus 1. We have to find the root value correct to 4 decimal places using Newton Raphson formula. Newton Raphson formula is xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn over f dash of xn. That is, next value of x is current value of x minus the ratio of function value to its derivative value. To use derivative value, we need the derivative of f of x. So in step 2, we will find f dash of x. Let's start differentiating the function f of x. We get f dash of x is equal to differentiation of x cube is 3x square. Differentiation of x square is 2x. Differentiation of 3x is 3 and differentiation of 4 is 0. So we are left with f dash of x is equal to 3x square plus 2x plus 3. Step 3. Let's find value of x1 by substituting n as 0 in Newton Raphson formula. So formula changes to x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. Now we need values of f of x0 and f dash of x0. So in step 4 let's calculate them f of x0 equal to f of minus 1 because x0 is minus 1. Let's replace x with minus 1 in f of x equation. So we get the value of f of x0 as 1. Next let's find the value of f dash of x0. f dash of x0 is f dash of minus 1. So let's replace x with minus 1 in f dash of x equation. So we get f dash of x0 as 4. Finally in step 5 let's find the value of x1 by substituting value of x0, f of x0 and f dash of x0 in the formula. We get x1 as minus 1.25. Since x0 is minus 1, x1 is minus 1.25 they are not at all same. So let's continue with our iteration. Next we need to find x2. By putting n as 1 in the Newton Raphson formula we get x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 over f dash of x1. We need to calculate f of x1 and f dash of x1 value. f of x1 is f of minus 1.25 which is equal to minus 0.1406 and f dash of x1 is f dash of minus 1.25 which is equal to minus 5.1875. Again in step 5, let's find the value of x2 by substituting values of x1, f of x1 and f dash of x1 in the formula. We get x2 as minus 1.2229. This x2 value is not same as x1. So let's continue with our iteration. We need to find x3 now. By substituting n as 2 in the Newton Raphson formula, we get x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 over f dash of x2. We need the values of f of x2 and f dash of x2. f of x2 is f of minus 1.2229 which is equal to minus 0.002 and f dash of x2 is f dash of minus 1.2229 which equal to 5.0407. In step 5, we find the value of x3 
by substituting values of x2, f of x2 and f dash of x2 in the formula. We get x3 as minus 1.2225. Now we are getting close to the answer because values of x2 and x3 are same till third decimal that is minus 1.222 but we need four decimal place accuracy so let's iterate once again putting n as 3 in newton raphson formula we get x4 is equal to x3 minus f of x3 over f dash of x3 let's find value of f of x3 and f dash of x3 f of x3 is f of minus 1.2225 which is equal to 0 and f dash of x3 is equal to f dash of minus 1.2225 which is equal to 5.0385 by substituting the values of x3 f of x3 and f dash of x3 in the formula we get x4 as minus 1.2225 the ratio of f of x3 to f dash of x3 becomes 0 as f of x3 is 0 so x4 is same as x3 we can also see that the function value for this value of x is 0 which means the value of x is the root of the function x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 4. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Like, share and subscribe for more such content. Let us know in the comments below on what concept should our next video be. This is Alpha Theta Epsilon.